Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, and gravel, and each component has a specific role in creating a durable and strong slab. If you're planning a concrete slab for a project, understanding how to calculate the quantities of materials needed is crucial to avoid wastage or shortfalls. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to calculating the sand, cement, and aggregate required for your concrete slab. Step one, determine the volume of concrete. The first step is to calculate the total volume of the concrete slab. This is done by multiplying the length, width, and thickness of the slab. We're going to use a length of 10 meters, a width of 10 meters, and a thickness of 0.2 meters. So the calculation is as follows. Length, 10 meters, times by width, 10 meters, times by thickness, 0.2 meters. This totals 20 cubic meters. Step two, choosing the concrete mix ratio. Concrete mix ratios vary based on the strength requirement, but for a general slab, a common mix ratio is one, two, four. This means one part cement, two parts sand, fine aggregate, and four parts gravel, coarse aggregate. This mix ratio is commonly used for medium strength concrete, say an M20 grade concrete. Step three, calculate the total dry volume of concrete. When calculating the materials for concrete, the wet concrete volume needs to be converted to a dry volume. This is because cement, sand and aggregates will increase in volume once mixed. To adjust for this, we multiply the volume by a factor of 1.54. This accounts for bulking and shrinkage. So, this calculation is required. So the dry volume equals wet volume times 1.54. So in our scenario, that is 20 cubic metres times by 1.54 which totals 30.8 cubic meters. Step four, calculate cement, sand, and aggregate quantities. Now that we know the total dry volume, we can calculate the quantities of cement, sand, and aggregate based on the chosen mix of one, two, four. Let's start with the cement quantity. For our mix, cement is one of the seven parts. So our calculation here is cement volume equals one over seven times 30.8 cubic meters, which totals 4.4 cubic meters. To convert the volume of cement into bags, assuming one bag of cement is 0.035 cubic meters, or 50 kilograms, a cement bag equals 4.4 cubic meters over 0.035 cubic meters per bag, which totals 126 bags. Sand quantity. For sand, it's two parts out of seven. So sand volume equals 2 over 7 times 30.8 cubic meters, which totals 8.8 .8 cubic meters. And finally, aggregate quantity. For gravel, it's 4 parts out of 7. So the aggregate volume equals 4 over 7 times 30.8 cubic meters, which totals 17.6 cubic meters. Step 5, final quantities for the concrete slab. To summarize, for a 10 by 10 by 0.2 concrete slab with a 124 mix, you'll need 126 50 kilogram bags or 4.4 cubic meters of cement, 8.8 .8 cubic meters of sand, and 17.6 cubic meters of aggregate. There are some additional considerations that you need to take note of, and these are water and wastage. With water, the water cement ratio is typically around 0.5 for a mix like this but the exact amount will depend on the desired workability. And with wastage, always account for about 5-10% to 10 extra material to cover for spillage and other losses. In conclusion, this method ensures that you have the correct quantities for each material, avoiding overuse or shortages, and helping to achieve a strong and durable concrete slab for your project. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.